as well as you guys and uh, check out the sites. And so as we're traveling towards Tulum, I did want to let you guys know that we did not plan our day in advance. We ended up uh, having access to our friend's vehicle and so at the last minute we decided to go to Tulum. Uh, so no Google Maps on uh, best restaurants to go to. Uh, we did uh, obviously Google Map how to get to the beaches. So we ended up going to the public beach, but I found a way to get to the uh, hotel beaches free access so that's pretty cool it's coming up at the end of the video i hope you guys enjoy this there's mr flagman dancing down the highway alerting us of an upcoming yield <laughs> gotta love mexico anyways enjoy guys all right guys so that was about uh probably roughly close to an hour an hour and ten maybe from Puerto Morelos to uh, Tulum. So we're just pulling in here now, traffic's gonna get bad. We're gonna find a little place to eat and uh, we'll start checking things out. Perfect. <laughs> what do you think? Fantastic. Yeah? Yeah, minus the stickers. There you go. Nice All right. and flexible. All right. There we go. 100 pesos, in and out. I don't agree with that. <laughs> uh, it's an ice cream place. <laughs> Having a little lunch? What's the name of this place? Taqueria on a reel. I'll find it. So we were simply walking down a side street, noticed that this restaurant was extremely busy, which is usually a good sign. I ended up ordering the chicken baguette for 50 pesos, which is approximately $3 USD, and it was excellent. All right, guys, so we, uh, we went for a little taco uh, taco experience down in, uh, in Tulum. We did a little bit of shopping. The girls picked up a few things, and now we're heading off to the beach. We're just on a couple back roads here now and uh, trying to weigh our loop our way around. To give you guys a better perspective, it took us about 10 minutes to drive from Tulum Centro to the beautiful coastline. Hey guys, we're just pulling into, uh, well we're into Tulum, but we're just doing the, uh, I guess this is the hotel zone.
That's what we're doing. Oh, that be indeed. <laughs> hey guys, I just wanted to give you guys a rundown on what our thoughts were about Tulum. Um, some people don't like it, some people like it. We were only there for a day, but I really enjoyed the Centro. I love shopping, so that was great. Love road trips, so that was great. <laughs> uh, and being a, a last minute road trip, it was awesome. There was nothing, there was nothing I did not like about it. Um, the Central part had a lot of restaurants to choose from. Um, there's lots of shopping that's available. Of course, there's your hotels, your Airbnbs and so forth. Uh, what did you think about the the waterfront? Well, so here's the thing, guys. Keep in mind that video was uh, we we were lent that car at the last minute. We jumped in it. We were gonna either try Puerto Adventuras or Tulum. We flipped a coin, ended up in Tulum. We checked it all out. We enjoyed it. Um, the pros, there's so many restaurants, bars, and activities going on there that like it's a, it's a, it's amazing. Um, you'll see the ride going through down by uh, the hotel zone. That's the only thing that's kind of uh, that I, I'd put my uh, definite thumbs down on, just because you can't see the water at all uh, unless you're accessing one of the beach clubs or the hotels. So yeah, from that. yeah, it was really really packed. Like it, the hotels are all packed tight tight beside each other, and um, any kind of shopping etc. is packed. So you, there's no visibility to to the the, the coastline. Yes. Um, but we were lucky enough to end up at the public beach, which is right at the entrance of the hotel zone. Mm -hmm. uh, went for a nice swim. And um, from there, you can actually access the hotel zone, 
maybe I shouldn't share this, but I'm going to share it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so if you go in the water, and I'll show you a map um, on our video, but if you go in, in the water, you can actually just walk across a building and you end up in the hotel zone waterfront and you can walk for miles and miles without having to pay any entrance fees or feeling obliged to buy a drink so but obviously if that's something that you'd like to do then yeah go go for it yep. no issues no worries um food's, the food was great and uh the drive was fantastic so all in all i'd say yeah it's worth going down checking out tulum it was awesome yeah anyways i hope you like this guys thumbs up and uh subscribe if you haven't and you want to follow the journey with us we love you guys great thank you